Hello and welcome to the Kate and Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. Joining me right here today is Raphael Siegel. Raphael, how are you? I'm doing very well, Kate. How about you? I am wonderful. Thank you so much for coming on my show today. Well, thank you for inviting me. Uh, you know, with the kind of energy that you bring, how could I not accept the invitation? So why don't we get started by getting to know you a little bit and uh, how you got started in acting? Oh, God, that cliche question, but it's a good one. It's a good one. Um, you know, I was involved in performing arts for a long time. I went to a performing arts camp and it was kind of like a hippie camp, <laughs> which I really loved. And, um, you know, I did it. And then in high school, I got like really into baseball, playing baseball. And uh, for four years, I was like varsity. I was like, yeah. And I, in the off season, I practice and I work out and I thought like I had this weird delusional fantasy that I was going to somehow be a major league baseball player but um that obviously did not happen not even close and then after that I was like god what do I do right I kind of like the baseball thing's not going to happen and then I got into radio like you're but not on the level you're doing but I got into radio and I was thinking you know radio could be entertainment okay good I know entertainment I like it and then from there, I started doing on-camera interviews uh, and television hosting. And then I got into doing uh, like student films. And um, that's how I kind of got started with the, with the acting thing. Not really, not really a theater guy, even though I really love the idea of theater. That's awesome. Yeah, I was reading about that. I saw that you were on a station out in California, which I thought was pretty interesting. Yeah, I had two stations, uh, one in Napa and then one in Sacramento. And uh, But you know what they say in radio is that if you're not fired, then you really weren't in radio. So I can say that I was fired from the station in Napa. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it about acting that you absolutely love about it, Raphael? Oh, oh, that's a good question. I know that there are a lot of actors who are very heady meaning that, you know, they're very cerebral and they're like, well, I like the idea of it, exposing myself and being safe at the same time and more power to them. And they're probably right. I just really have a great time doing it. I like the fact that it's not the same thing every time when I see people that, and you know, God bless them, right. But people that work factory jobs or jobs where it's just monotonous uh, actions and, and, and behaviors, I'm like, how do they do it? It's amazing. With acting, you can take on a role and you work with a crew. And then after that, you take on another role with maybe a different crew. And even if the role is similar, let's say it's a dad, it's still a different dad in a different scenario. So I like the fact that it's not monotonous. So do you have upcoming projects or anything that you want to tell us a little bit about? Uh, yeah, I'm actually... Uh, well, I'm going to Carlsbad, California. For the people that don't know, it's uh, about 30 miles north of San Diego. And I'm leaving tonight because <laughs> I have to work <laughs> tomorrow morning in Carlsbad. And then um, on Wednesday, no, on Thursday, I'm going to be doing an episode of Darman. And then at the end of the month, I'm going to Mexico for a feature film for a, a, about three days or so. That's exciting. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people know you from Darman. Uh, what is one of your best experiences working there? You know what I'm going to say every time I'm there. It's like <laughs> if someone asked you, you know, like if you have kids, like who's your favorite kid? And of course, secretly you have your favorite, but public you would never say that. Uh, with Darman, it's every time I'm there. Although um, they did a series of babysitter videos, which I, I was lucky enough to be a part of all three because I'm the dad. And uh, those were really a blast because they got to work with the same people. It was the same storyline, you know, same character names and everything. Um, and that was that was really, really fun. Um, but I always say like it's the one that I just worked on was the most fun. So, but I really liked that. I had, I had a great time doing that series. What advice would you give somebody that might want to start acting? Drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just have to reference it because the people see it, they're going to wonder what it is. Um, don't take yourself so seriously. I mean, that's really in life. You shouldn't take yourself too seriously, right? You should take yourself, I think, seriously enough to get the job done, to make sure that, you know, you're, you're pushing your life and your career along and you, you're cultivating your relationships and friendships. But um, I think that there's a propensity in 
in acting and in entertainment to like really take yourself seriously. And it 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 is it is show business, but it is supposed to be fun. Um, you're, you're, that's why they say, "What role are you playing?" Right. So um, and and drop the ego and just respect people, and don't try not to have your walls up too much. Just go out there. Acting is about connecting with who you're working with, and if you have a wall up, it's really hard for that person to connect with you. And you know that's where you heard the term. Uh, chemistry, chemistry, you have chemistry with someone. Chemistry, I realized a few years ago, comes from both people having their walls down and being able to kind of hear each other, communicate, and just enjoy yourself. What do you like doing outside of acting? Do you have any hobbies, interests, anything like that? I have kids, so I have to say playing with them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I do have kids, and I do like playing with them. I really enjoy spending time with them. But honestly, my escape is when I'm working. Like, that's my vacation. So when people talk about vacations, I don't understand it. I'm like, vacation from what? You know, I think if I had a regular job, like, let's say, whatever a regular job is nowadays, but let's say an office job, then I'd like, oh, yeah, I love to go on vacations. I love to play sports. But um, I, I really do enjoy, like, when I'm going tomorrow and where I'm going on Thursday and at the end of the month, that's like, I look forward to that. Like, people would look forward to a vacation. So, um, I mean, I like playing with the kids. I try to get my exercise the best I can. I like to watch true crime. My partner and I watch um, the amazing amounts of true crime. It's like, we know how to get away with a murder. Like, we'll talk at, off the air, but I know how to get away with a murder. Just between you and I, baby. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> if you had one message to tell everyone right now, what would you tell them, Raphael? Wow, this is like a pageant question. Um, <laughs> world peace. Um, <laughs> I would say, do your research. I just said, I just, it sounds like a weird answer, but I think a lot of the problems happening nowadays is that people just don't do their research, meaning that everything is so packaged in headlines and one line, um, one line stories that they don't see the headline and go, hmm, that sounds interesting or that sounds disturbing. Let me read a little bit more about what's going on. You know what I mean? Um, that's how people become reactionary. So if, if, if someone wrote a headline to get your attention that says um, local politician hates kids or something, right? You'd have to go, look, what does that mean? Okay, maybe I know this politician and I don't really like them, but let me read and find out what in the world that means. Like, it is exactly what the headline is saying. Is that exactly what's happening in the story? So take a breath, take some time, do a little research. Then I think maybe we won't be so reactionary. We won't be so angry. We won't be at each other's throats. That's my theory, at least. And that's my hope is that if people would do more research, people can calm down, take a breath relax. There you go. If people want to learn more about you, where can they find you? Social media, like always. I, you know what? I'm on Twitter, but I don't do any tweeting. Um, and I'm not on TikTok <laughs> because I just can't get into it. But, you know, Instagram. Um, and I don't know this format that we're on right now, Caden. I don't know if you're going to have it on the screen or whatever. But, um, you know, my Instagram is RA. I need to change it. I really need to change. It was for a show I was supposed to do and that's now like not happening. So maybe I should change it, but it's R-A-F as in Frank. So it's RAF underscore trivial, the show. That's on Instagram. Oh. So it's R-A-F underscore trivial, the show, which anytime you go underscore ampersand pound sign, people go, I'm lost already, you know, but so, um, but if you type in Raphael Siegel, you'll find me on Instagram. And uh, same thing with uh, Facebook. You can check out my videos on YouTube. Same thing, Raphael Siegel, same spelling. Um, I don't have a stage name or I don't use a different name. And then uh, what else? Uh, what are some other platforms? Uh, I said YouTube already. Um, yeah, I think uh, IMDb, but no one like really knows IMDb, right? Hayden, you know IMDb. I do, yes. That's where I do a lot, a lot of my research on that. Oh, look at you. Show, yes. 
<laughs> international movie date international movie database and there's a lot of clips and there's like you know mm -hmm. behind the scenes photos and a bio and whatever mm -hmm. you know but reach out to me i'd love to hear from you whoever's listening to just say i think you did a great job or i think you did a horrible job or i think you and caden work well together or you made caden look bad and in that case i apologize <laughs> <laughs> No worries. I mean, you know, any feedback is appreciated. <laughs> right, exactly. Right. Positive. Any kind of feedback, at least if it's constructive, will mm -hmm. will do good things. Absolutely. And I don't think a lot of fans look at IMDb, honestly. I think it's mainly media yeah. and us and us in the industry. I don't I mean you're more than welcome to go because you don't they don't charge you to look at it, but you know, you can take a look at what he's got going on there. So yeah, I'm just trying to give you some extra, you know, some extra outlets to look at. But um, the main ones would be Instagram and Facebook and then YouTube. YouTube is good because it has a lot of demo reels and, you know, a lot of clips from older stuff. So you can go, wow, <laughs> he has not progressed at all. <laughs> <laughs> when you see something posted from like 10 years ago and something posted like three weeks ago, you're like, has he improved at all? I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what's fun about YouTube. It's a, it's a nice time capsule. Raphael, is there anything that I forgot to mention that you would like to mention today? No, I mean, you did do your homework, that's for sure. And uh, your question um, elicit some uh, some thought, which is good. That's what you want. As you can see, when you ask a question and I look over to the side going, it's a good question. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I think you did a good job and I want you to keep up what you're doing. You're doing a good job over there in Massachusetts. Was I not supposed to say that because the fans? That's all right. <laughs> oh, no. Now the paparazzi is going to be hounding you. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Raphael Siegel, thank you so much for coming on the Caden Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. Awesome chatting with you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Caden.